Hey guys, what's up? So today we're showing top best shirts. These flowers 11, 12, 13, 14. The first is called Respring Module, a control standard module that simply restrains your device. Sports Irish 11 to 14. This is called Reboot Module, a control standard module that allows for a simple device reboot button. Requires DC support. Sports Irish 11 to 14. This is called When Hua's Bypass Jailbreak, uh, When Hua App Bypass Jailbreak Check. This is called Delete Contact, uh, allows to delete contacts from the address book, adds a trash icon to contact and mobile phone applications contact screen, also allows group delete of contacts and works on iDevices. One of my favorite features is called iSecure OS, and that allows you actually to check out like your vulnerabilities and it's just, you know, secure. It turns also like old sources you have, like old outdated packages, um, any like third party uh, malicious repos, so uh, it's a really cool tweak. Next is called Quick A and C, uh, simplifies the way you switch between transparency and noise canceling mode. So now you can just go to Control Center, I believe, and just yeah, just switch between uh, transparency and noise cancellation modes. Next is called App Library Shortcuts. If you ever like me and felt like the app shortcut introduced iOS 14 is put in a bad location, you can now access anywhere on the home screen with App Library Shortcuts. Next is called Only You. So you can put only the, you know, your loved ones in the lock screen and like the picture. So you can see right here, it's a pretty cool tweak. This is called do clock and unless you have two different time zones on your lock screen. This is called emoji port, iOS 6.0 to 8.2, only power with iOS 6 to 8.2, latest emojis for iOS 6 to 8.2. This is called emoji resources, extra emoji category icons. This is called CarPlay Passcode, uh, enables CarPlay Passcode view. This week enable the CarPlay Passcode view. This is called Local COVID Case Counter. Uh, local, local COVID Case Counter. Get your um, county or state's COVID-19 statistics from weather.com. This one here is the widget for Local COVID Case Counter. So get your country, country, I mean, county or state's COVID-19 statistics from weather.com. So give a, with it, a widget of basically, you know, your COVID counter, the counter to COVID cases in your area. This is called Fly JBX. It's a uh, bypass jailbreak detection tweak. So Fly JBX is actually it's a um, it's a Vance um, jailbreak bypass detection tweak. Next week's called VK again. Uh, here we go again. Sports Irish 11 to 14.4. So VK again in English. <laughs> here we go again. Next week's called Substitute and lock cellular data with Tether Me. Substrate substitute for code substitution. Next week's called Gridlock 2.0. It allows you to arrange your icons however you like through drag and drop. This is called Anchor and allows you to freely place your icons. This is called Color Flow 5 and colors your music, matching the Alpine UI to your music album artwork, and adds an iOS 10 style music player in the lock screen. This is called Notive Bounce, adds bounce animations to icons with a badge. This is called Data Blocker and disables internet connection on your phone. And this is called Data Counter, a uh, cellular data counting app for users to keep track of their data usage within a period. This is called Full Photo Preview, shows full image previews on Photos app. It's called Pro Gesture and supports iPhone 6S, 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 6S Plus, 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus SE, app switcher, battery, control center, dock, gesture, hardware button, home bar, keyboard, Lock screen, status bar, miscellaneous, app style, camera UI, round screen corners, landscape rotation lock, no icon fly, no icon label, no launch app animation, no page dots, perhaps settings. Next is called Jarvis, and it's a powerful multi center. It's called MyBlow XS for iOS. It's the most advanced, um, one of the most advanced uh, ad blockers for iOS device. Also does revotes, trackers, miners, and more. And auto updates. Next is called Safari Blocker. You can control over pop ups and safaris. So, one of my favorite tweets you can control the pop ups and safaris. You can press on, you know, you can allow it, you can whitelist it, which always allows it. You can blacklist it, you can block it, and black, uh, block the URL, block domain, or block URL. So, pretty cool. It saves you a bunch of time and a uh, headache, you know, allowing you to take control over your pop ups and those annoying pop ups and safari. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. And peace.